Deus Vault, my fellow gamers. Here we are today. I'm gonna do a little unboxing, <clears throat> kind of unboxing. I just took the saran wrap off of this bad boy. And this is my last little bit of nameless material, unless I were to buy the Blood Bowl, or not Blood Bowl, my goodness, sorry. The <clears throat> Dread Ball uh, teams and whatnot, and then the big spawn, that giant dude, which I do plan on getting him but this i've been needing these for a while not needing but you know how gamers say stuff like that but anyway it's got the carotid the bathomite and two of these needlers or i forget what they're called but they're the little drone dudes that have the hacker ability <clears throat> so, i was excited when i opened this up first because Oh, it is all stinking resin except for that one plastic base and the one MDF base. So, I asked myself how a carotid with all of its crab legs is going to fit on that. I still need to check the size chart to see if that's legit. And the bathomite gets the big daddy base, which totally. Um, that's good good stuff and i love i don't know if i'm the only person that does this i'm sure i'm not but when you get the laser cut mdf you smell it you're like ah oh. oh it's so good yeah <laughs> burnt wood I don't know. well kind of wood uh, all the goodies and in case you guys get all kinds of upset when you open up the top of the box that's not where your mantic points are down there at the bottom the bottom flap has two of those bad boys for you so very satisfying you know at first i was like <laughs> where are my magic points but then i found them here this is really very nice the flight stands for those little flyers they don't have any bubbles in them mine don't anyway so that's fantastic last video i said and that advice still stands if you have acrylic stands just take masking tape, tape that up. When you go to dull coat everything, these will stay nice and glossy when you take that tape off, okay? Pro tip, guys, pro tip. Really, I like these bases. <clears throat> Little Ziploc baggies, don't you know? Yeah, see, that's fantastic. A nice hole. Go in, a little wasp stinger. Mine came out very good. Man, just resin holds such really good detail. And it's extremely easy to work. I love resin. And then you got face bits. Really very nice. Cool. <clears throat> I believe both of these are the same really very cool models uh, the carotid now i won't lie he's not cool looking okay perhaps it's the paint job with the dark obscuring a lot of the detail with with the darker reds and stuff a little bit of purple everything is dark on this guy so maybe i don't know maybe it's this long face yeah i, I don't know but not too excited about him now from the side of profile you know he does look a bit of a shrimp uh, so there's that Ooh, so, many bits. <clears throat> so you do have a lot of posts to cut off but really when mantic decides to do yet resin it does a quite a good job with the mold lines yeah, I'm not a fan of, I don't know how this, maybe they're trying for a seahorse. I don't know. Maybe. Part seahorse, part shrimp. I guess. I've heard that the Blood Bowl carotids look pretty good. Yeah. Pretty cool leg bits. And you've got the two, two other little shorties. It looks like they've got some hoses sorry about the background some hoses attached with hard points i don't know and then here there is little little legs just little clusters i guess 
the guys that designed this were hungry and they were thinking about going and getting some clusters. We have the second one, exact same. Now this is what I'm excited for, the bathomite. I mean, who doesn't like gigantic crustaceans? I love big crabs. <clears throat> oh yeah, meaty. Yeah, I'm hungry for some seafood. Go get some. So right here, this is interesting because this bad boy comes with several attachments. Uh, let's look at those right off the bat. Okay, there's one with his face squiggles. Okay, so completely broken off. I can only think that this is a claw arm because I have a claw arm free. Uh, just two attachments? That's interesting. No, okay, three. There's the big, okay. So we've got a gigantic cannon type thing. You can see down here at the bottom is this little pin and that pin, I guess, would put into the slot. Hey, hey. But we're gamers. We magnetize everything. So that's going to get a magnet. This little mortar thing gets himself a magnet. Just going to chop that pin right off. Drill into that bad boy and slap a magnet in. And then we have here a crystal thingy with his face tentacles. So that crystal thingy will also get a magnete. <clears throat> so awesome. So right there you have three pieces that are magnetized. He has also got himself a sweet swimmer tail. Look at that mermaid tail right there. I might put some sprinkles on that bad boy or some old bay. That's right. Okay. So two of these crabbed legs skittering around. And, you know, who doesn't like a big meaty claw? You know, find me some cocktail sauce, because that's what's up. Mm. Very cool. Very, very cool claws. Um, some barnacles up in that. I love the detail of these, these resin models. This piece, it's a darker gray resin. Uh, much like this Joker is. If you could tell, there's the lighter and the darker. So I'm hoping it's the same. Maybe the darker has more cure agent in it. I'm not certain. It makes me worried because the rest of crap is all very dark, but I love his little eyeballs. Yeah, very meaty specimen. Defeat, defeat him in combat and you've got a meal, bruh. So nice little barnacle bits there <clears throat> it's fantastic i'm glad all these came in they didn't break very thankful for that very thankful that these back spines didn't break uh you know and it's just these bags with these items in it shoved into the cardboard insert that is pretty cavernous you know it's got a lot of freaking space there so <clears throat> these things can fall apart on you but I'm excited. I'm excited to do a video about magnetizing, I think. We're gonna magnetize this homeboy up and make him right. So, okay, guys, this is everything. Oh, man, I just wish I had some dipping sauce, you know? So, you'll see these guys uh, cleaned up and primed here very soon. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and yeah, that's all I got for you. Carry a laser, guys. Bye-bye.